So now what I'm going to do is see if I can clean up some of these sections and then I want to show you that you can also add in things like gradients and patterns within this as well. Okay, first thing I want to do is remember how like I was making this uh, ear here and I ended up splitting up these two sections. Well, let's say I want them together. Well, what you do is we just use our shape builder tool. We hold on shift and select two of the options together. So I selected this region and this region together and then I can go over to my shape builder tool and connect my line. So you can do that in areas where you have that type of problem. Uh, like over here in the light blue here, if you wanna select one and the other, you can end up shape building that together. Let's see if I can do that. There we go. So now they're together. All right, so anyway, you can do that around your, your guy's face. And then the um, th next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, this color here and make it a little more interesting. Uh, we can go to our appearance panel and what we can do is add another fill. So I'm going to add another fill. This fill is going to be a gradient. Now when I just choose this regular gradient it just does this little thing over here. Well I want to adjust my gradient's pa parameters. First I want to adjust the color. I want the um, color to be um, let's see a really dark color and then I want the one over here to be um, closer to that color. So let's see. Let's see if I just, let's see, I'm going to get a really dark. All right, so really dark color. And I want to definitely make it uh, fully opaque here. So um, I've got this here. And let's see, this is probably, I think I'm going to make it feel transparent on that side. So you can see how it's kind of shading along that. I'm also going to change it from linear to radial gradient. Now let's see what that's doing. See how it's kind of adding a highlight here? Okay. Um, you can take any of these colors. We can um, adjust to maybe one of these lighter versions for example and watch how that makes a difference. Oh wait, you always got to have something selected. So let's make sure it's selected. And I'll lighten that up. Let's try that. Yeah, okay, so now that I got it like that, I really want to try and make it see if I can blend into this blue. So I need to transform my gradient. Um, I'm not going to go with a gradient mesh, I'm just going to do a regular transformation on it. Um, if you uh, want to do a regular transformation, just you know, bring up your gradient tool and then click, and you can move this thing around, and it's going to change the way that works. You can also brighten it up. Um, let's see here. We rotate it like so. Yeah, something like something like that. Maybe extend it out a little bit. Okay. So yeah, something like that. Oops. I have to undo. Anyway, so yeah, that's how um you could edit the uh, section. Now um something like a gradient mesh is a little more complicated. Okay. Uh, something like a gradient mesh might not work in one of these sections. Okay. Now, I don't want you to actually do this, but if you, you know, continued with doing gradients, you probably have a great cartoon. But let's say you wanted to add in a gradient mesh in a section. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy one of these sections out to another layer so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to take this uh, light blue section and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to lock my lines layer here, make a new layer, and paste it in place. So I've got this extra copy. I'm going to turn off my other layer so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, when I click on this and I go to Object, I might not even have the option to create a gradient mesh. Okay, uh, if you expand, sometimes that allows you to do it. Object, um, you have to expand it usually several times to get it to do it. And you see, I'm not, I'm just not getting the option to do a gradient mesh. So what do you do? Well, here's what you do. Uh, you basically draw a rectangle on top of this. Now I'm going to change colors to something obnoxious. Let's see, um, orange here. And then I'm going to go to my rectangle tool and I'm going to make a big rectangle on top of this. Okay. So you're like, okay, what happened? Well, I'm going to send that one backward. Okay, right now if you look at my layer 3 here, I've got my orange path on top of my compound path. What I'm going to do is put it underneath. Alright? Okay. So um, if you uh, take the orange item, you can take the orange item and create a gradient mesh. And I'm going to have it do to center just so you can kind of see what I'm doing. 
Okay, and this compound path. Let's see if I can get it to work here. I'm gonna select both of these items. Okay, so both of them are selected. And I'm gonna say object clipping mask and make. Let's see what happens. All right. So what happened there? Okay, basically what I told um, Illustrator to do is use the um, gradient from the bottom orange layer, but to cut it or clip it to the shape of the blue layer. So that's how you can do a more complex uh, mesh. You could also go in and edit that mesh just by double clicking inside. You'll start to get it to where you get to the point where you're in the mesh and you can you can change your colors then. You just use your white arrow tool and you can change those colors. Let's see. Um, change this color to something blue so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see how that works. And then go back out and you see how I've changed that area. And um, the thing is, you know, I'd say that for what we're trying to do here today, it's probably too much to go that far. But I just wanted you to understand how you could do that in case you ran into an, a situation where the gradient mesh can't be created or when you create a gradient mesh it says there's too many points. So when you have that problem, uh, that's how you fix it. Um, in my case, I'm just going to fill it in with the um, uh, regular standard gradients. I'm not even going to worry about layer 3 there. Uh, I'm just going to continue to work and add some highlights. Um, maybe I'll draw a little um, little shape um, here and we'll make it be we'll make it be white. Yeah, and I'll put that. Let's see. Maybe I'll do some blobbing on it or something to change it. So maybe I'll pucker it in a little bit here. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. And then um, shrink it down in size. And we'll take that and put it right on top of this highlight. There we go. A little highlight on his eye. Probably put one on the other side too. Yeah. All right. There we go. Anyway, um, keep working, um, adding gradients to your guy or character, animal, whatever, and uh, just try and have fun with it. And uh, that's it for this one.